Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Grima here and today I'm bringing you part 16 of Let's Play Final Fantasy 7 Blind. So in the last episode, we left Calm and we went to the Chocobo farm, so we actually got the materia that lets us lure Chocobo. So yeah, we did that, we came in here, we had to use a Chocobo to cross the marshes and we came into this like cave. And we actually found Seng and a few of the other Turks who basically told us not to get in Shinra's way. No surprise there. We're still going to do it. We'll have to fight him later on. Blah, blah. You get the idea. Oh, and uh, Sephiroth killed some giant snake thing while we weren't looking. So, the game did crash. And I've made it back to where I was with all the materia and stuff in hand. In fact, in fact, I have a lot more gil than I did then as well, because I, I kept forgetting to put the chocobo materia on, so I kept entering fights <laughs> before I actually got one. But yeah, I did get one, and I made it here. I decided while I was off screen to fight that Midgar Zabon thing, or whatever it was called, that snake in the marshes. It doesn't seem too difficult, but I don't want to try it right now. It's level 26 with 4,000 HP, and I was doing about 100 to 150 each time I used a magic spell on it. I can do it, but the thing is, it does like 400 damage every time it attacks one of my my allies. I mean, I was I was being stupid, so it killed Cloud fairly quickly, but I did manage to last a while with Tifa and Aerith. But it actually whipped me away from the battle, like it whipped my allies away, so it could, it, it was basic, if you've played Pokemon, it's basically like Roar and Whirlwind, it just kind of forced us out of the fight, so, yeah, I don't know, like, I'd go back and kill it now, but I don't think I can before it does that, so I'm gonna level up a bit before I go back and fight it, because I'm sure you get something from it, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that now, but anyway, let's leave this cave so we can carry on. So, if you do like this video, then please give it a like rating to show your support for the playthrough and for my channel. It means a lot. So, right, I said I wasn't going to explore the land, didn't I? Oh, what's that? I don't like the look of that. I don't... I'm going to guess these are weak to wind, and I don't have that. You know, thinking about it, since I had all this money, I probably should have, uh, I probably should have went back to get more materia, but, honestly, I didn't want to waste time catching another chocobo. Because it, I actually ended up having to, like, I bought grass beforehand anyway, but I got the chocobo on my first time, so I didn't need to use it. And I got lucky with that. But, when I went off screen, I missed like 5 chocobo before I had to use the grass and finally got one. So I got, I got lucky on the first chocobo I got. Oh, what's this? We've been fighting the Shinra on this battlefield for a long time. We've, we've still settled in for a long war with them. Could you spare some time and help us fight them? We don't want to sound pushy, so if you're busy with something, why don't you finish that first? Who's Junon? Where is Janon? Let's see. Head north along the coast. Keep going a ways and you'll run into Janon. But be alert because it sits in the shadows of a small hill. Okay, so it seems like Janon is where I'm meant to be going. But I'm going to help these guys. Really? Then go up and they'll fill you in on the details. Now, I'm not exactly in a fighting position right now, so I'm going to heal. Hopefully these aren't too strong. I did just save, so, uh, you know, it's not like it really matters, but... You know, I don't want to do this again. Oh. Is this like some maze thing? I thought we were just fighting Shinra. Let's see. <laughs> Random holes in the wall so we can see ourselves climb a ladder. Interesting. Hmm, now this is something. I never thought anyone would ever climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now, this will be a battlefield against Shinra. You'd better get down before you get involved. But the thing is, I'm here to help you. You mean Shinra? What do you mean a battlefield? It appears you have a problem with Shinra too. 
After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? I guess so. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? A huge bird. The reactor and the condor. That's right. On that mountain is a condor and a reactor. It seems the Shinra doesn't like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. What's so wrong with having a condor on top of the reactor? Why? It seems there's some type of special material in the reactor above us. And because the condor came, the Shinra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the condor and all the villagers off this mountain. The condor is now warming its egg, which hatches only once every few years. We would like to protect the condor from being harmed. New lives. Condor's egg, a real work of nature. We've got to protect the life of the planet. We must protect the condor egg, right? Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves. That's why we have hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, he can help us with a contribution or by fighting alongside us. What do you think? You want to join us in our fight? Cloud. Cloud, why are you still worrying about it? Alright. Cloud, thanks. Yes, yes, let's do our best. Alright, oh, I don't know what I just got myself into, but uh... I hope I don't regret it. <laughs> Right, I can sleep here, right? Say, let's rest, okay? We'll get some rest. I, n I need to sleep. My jaw actually hurts right now. Because I, I am recording episodes in a row now, so I can edit them all at once, like in the night or something. Because there's a limited time I can record since I live with my family still. Uh, so... You know, I can only record at certain parts of the day. <laughs> so because I've, I've been just bulk recording, my jaw hurts from all the talking I've been doing. So I'm, I'm sorry if I randomly stop talking or something. Or if my voice is, like, get butchered, but, you know, it's because my mouth hurts. Yay. You hang in there. Okay, I was hoping this would be a store. We good. Alright, we got what we need here. What about you? Do you have weapons? Oh, you're a materia shop. Okay. I see. Uh, so what do I get? Hmm. Well, so far I've not had much of a use for ice magic, but I think I'd, it'd do me good to get another lightning one. Uh. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'll just get another ice one while I'm here. Screw it. And I, I can equip these on people, right? Okay, uh, I'll give ice to Tifa, and I shall give... Wait, what's this? Alright, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put lightning here. Because Aerith has healing wind. So she doesn't need to restore that heals everyone. And I'm going to give poison to Cloud. There we go. I think we're good. We're good on that front. Alright, let's go down. Oh, no. Uh, I don't want to do that. Alright, I, th I think now all there is to do is to fight Shinra. So let's go do that. Up this ladder. And there are stairs there. So I'm guessing that's... Uh, that's the... This is the step outside to actually kill them. This is our last chance. Oh, there's the condor. Wow, that's pretty big, actually. <laughs> They're expecting to kill that? Thanks for accepting. So, shall I let you in on our strategy? The enemy has targeted our mountain reactor and will be climbing to reach it. We must set a trap and hire soldiers to protect the place. Well, this is all we have. This village doesn't have much money, so even if we wanted to fight, we can't because we're broke. We need 400 gil to hire one soldier. So if we hire 20 soldiers, we need 8,000 gil. We need to ask you to use your own money to hire these soldiers, buy the equipment, set it up and give the commands. If you don't have time, could you help us with a donation? If you donate the money, you can hire the soldiers and block Shinra's attack. We know what we're asking is selfish. We sent our wives and children to another village, but we're resigned to stay. Let's get back to basics. If the enemy reaches this shed, you'll have to fight them off immediately. 
It's not the end of the world, but if you lose repeatedly, it could be dangerous. Now then, is there anything you wish to ask? Okay. So do they actually expect me to pay them 8,000 gil at the minimum? Like, really? They don't even need anyone else when they've got me, bro. <laughs> Alright, how do we win? It can win by wiping out the enemy or killing the enemy commander. If the enemy reaches the shed, they'll attack and you'll have no choice but to battle immediately. If you lose during direct contact, and even if the enemy gets to the reactor, there's still a chance to win. But it's only a slight chance and we have no idea how much the reactor can endure in an attack. When we can't defend against the attack any longer, the shed will take our lives, the condor, and all the materia in the reactor. Shit. Well, that doesn't sound good. Right, the enemy. There are four types of enemies. Wyverns, I don't like that. Wyverns are flying types that move at high speed. Stoner and Tristoner aren't effective against them. I'm guessing that's rock magic, but I don't have that. Beasts are monster types that do not move quickly, but have explosive attacking power. Barbarians are human types that attack from a distance. You've got to be on your toes. And commanders. They're the enemy commanders. They're the ones we want to subdue, but they're formidable foes. Okay. So from what it sounds like, earth magic, unless there's a rock magic, earth magic won't work against wyverns, but we don't have that anyway, so that doesn't matter. Beasts are going to be the stronger enemies. So those are the ones we probably want to prioritize. Barbarians attack from a range, so that means our close-up attacks likely won't work. And commanders are the ones that we need to kill to stop the attack. Right, anything else? Uh, type of soldiers. Your mobile allies are fighters, attackers, defenders, shooters, repairers, and workers. Your immobile allies are stoner, tristoner, catapult, and fire catapult. Okay, so it seems like they're not magic. The mobile types. Oh my god, there's so much to consider with this. I haven't even got the money to pay for this. Fighters are good at defending and attacking, but aren't especially effective or deficient for an enemy. Okay. So they're just basic infantry attackers. They move fast and are best for expanding the front line. They work they work with a, They work good against beasts, but not barbarians. Defenders have high endurance but move slowly. They're best suited for defense. They work against barbarians, but not wyverns. So these are against wyverns, but not beasts. Shooters attack from a distance, have low endurance. Yep. Repairers. They are allied units. They have little attacking power. So they're, they're clerics? Workers. They set mines. They have strong attacking power, but workers d themselves don't. Mines explode when they touch when they're touched by an enemy. Explosions will damage everything in the area. Okay. And that was just the mobile types, oh my god. Stoners. Fire a single boulder, causing extensive damage to enemy it, hit, it hits, but not the wyverns. You can fire three boulders all at once, causing extensive damage to every enemy. We can't use the tristone or fire catapult because they're not ready. Catapults shoot rocks a great distance, causing extensive damage to any enemy they hit. They, they uh, fire catapults, fire bombs a great distance, but they can't be used, so it doesn't matter. Okay, anything else? Funding. We have 15,000 gil right now. We need 3,000 gil for each battle. How much can you help? 5,000. <laughs> We're very grateful, but you don't have enough money. Nothing right now. Anything you wish to ask? Other. First off, we must prepare the troops. Move the cursor wherever the X mark does not appear, and then press OK to set up. After all positions are in place, press cancel. This starts the battle. Soldiers can only be arranged near the shed in the beginning, as because if the soldiers are too far away, they won't be able to follow instructions. You can only put soldiers above the horizontal line at the very bottom. Soldiers can be instructed by pushing assist. Don't know what that one is. So if any commands are unclear, push it. Soldiers can report by pushing OK. This is too much to take in.
Hmm. Enough. Looks like they're getting ready to attack now. Any help is appreciated. Preparations ready. Wait. I'm not ready to help yet. I want to get some gill before I help them out. Because I, I want to get that 5,000 so I can contribute. At the very least, I want to get 3,000 because they said that they need that much. But I'd like to get the full 5,000 if possible. But if I leave now, I'm wondering if that will affect if I actually help them or not. Either way. That was way too much to take in all at once. And it sounds like that's not the first time you go there either. Or the only time, rather. <sighs> you know what, I'll be back when I get the money. Okay, so I've done some grinding. I've got the 5,000 guild. The characters have leveled up once or twice each. Aerith got a new limit break called Seal the Evil, which basically prevents any any enemy on the opposing, well, yeah, any enemy from using magic. Well, I was going to say any enemy on the opposing side, but I realised enemies are on the opposing side, so it was kind of redundant. The enemy has targeted our mountain reactor and will be climbing to reach it, blah blah. I've heard all this before, man. Alright, well... The, he says here that he wants 8,000, but then I can only give him 5,000. So, how does that work? But funding. Oh, wait, what's other? First off, we must prepare the troops. Oh, right, it's this shit that I didn't remember. I, I don't want to listen to this again. I, did, in this instance, I felt like it would be easier if I just learned it while I was doing it, instead of just being told it. Like a tutorial sort of thing. Because the other things I can remember fairly easily, because it's like, this is good on this and not good on that. It's not a bunch of steps like, oh, you got to remember this and that about each individual unit. We have 15,000 gil, we need 3,000 for each battle. Oh, I'll give you 5,000, man. Thanks, this makes 20,000 gil. Wait. Wait. What? But what was the point of giving him that? that did I just waste my money? <sighs> Whatever. Enough. Okay. Wait, contribute Gil. Wait, I've already given you Gil. No, oh, get out of here. Hear more. Nope, uh, I've heard all this already. I'm ready. Could you at least make it 4,000 gil? What? What? I just gave you money! Hang on a second. Alright, let's see what happens. You have 10 enemies. There appear to be many beasts. So you may want to deploy more attackers. Okay. I'm confused. Right, we're trying to defend the sheds, huh? Right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh... Can set a bomb, low power. Can repair an ally, low power. Can shoot from afar. Um. I can't say I really know what I'm doing. But I don't want to put him there. Wait, wait, no, move. move. Move it. What are you doing? Don't stand there. I want you to move. Whatever. 
I, I honestly don't have any idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put a stone or something. Catapult. Wait, huh? Uh, I suppose there? I honestly don't have any idea what I'm doing right now. I get I guess I'll find out in time. Wait. This is going to go so badly. All right, well I've got no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just going to guess this will do. So let's try it. How do I actually have to fight with these or I don't know what's going on here. Okay, it's nice seeing them do something, I guess. Wait, how, how do I speed this up? Okay. Well, I can see them climbing, but this is going really slowly. Uh... It's looking like a bunch of beasts so far. So I'm guessing putting these defenses down was the right idea. Oh, I'm seeing wyverns now. Wyverns seem to go faster than beasts. How long is this actually going to last? How many have we got to beat? Because the enemies just keep coming and I've not actually killed anything so far. Well, it's almost time for combat. You know, I love how we can set the speed higher, yet this is the fastest it will go. This is still really slow. I'm beginning to wonder why I contributed money for this now, because this really isn't going anywhere fast. Okay. Kill it. Wait. Wait, action. Move it. I don't know what's good on what, I forgot. Attack it. But I'm trying to move you away, why did you attack again? Get away. Hello? What are you doing? Move! Oh, this is ridiculous. It's not going anywhere. You know what? Screw it, you can die. I don't care. Okay. No, I think I'm gonna need to move you here. Can you, can you put anything down? Yeah, put a bomb there. Oh, right, he put the bomb there. Wait. I... This is... To be honest, I'm not finding this very fun, because I don't know what I'm doing. Just, just, just wait. Please. Oh, shit. Can I move this? No, I guess not. Attack that. And you go and attack that. Oh, it's dead. Cool. Okay, so the attackers are good on the beasts. Uh, the defenders are good on the barbarians, I believe it was. And the shooters are good on the wyverns. Okay, I got it. So, I had the complete- oh, crap, crap. Uh, just, just keep attacking. 
I need to get you to attack this thing. Uh, you need to move there and defend it. You need to go over to here. Attack that one. I think I'm getting a sort of understanding for this, but this isn't going anywhere fast. Why, why can't I do anything, though? Why can't Cloud... I... I don't really have much to say about this. This... This wyvern is getting dangerously close to the shed, and I don't like it. Oh no. Oh wait, is this- Oh, this is where I do something. My god, they're attacking, we're counting on you. Ah, oh, I see, so I'm defending the shed while I get those other things to do that. Okay. Well, this is hardly a wide one, but... I guess it's fine. Die now. Raw. You know, I don't think I've ever addressed it before, but in this game, Cloud swings his sword down to do the blade beam, but in Smash, he swings it up. I'm, I'm wondering what that difference was about. I mean, I, I, I'm clueless in that one, but oh well. I suppose it doesn't matter really, as long as he actually does the move. Right, get out of my face, bro. You're not allowed to attack this shit, I refuse. It doesn't even matter if the units die, really, because I can just get Cloud to defend the, the uh, ship. All that worrying over nothing. Side. Can this thing die now, please? It's taking too long. Get out of here. How much magic have I got to blast with this thing? It's not even a wyvern. Get out of my face. It's still alive. I know it had 2,000 HP, but there we go. Man. Alright, so we we defended the shed. Oh, Climb Hazard, yes. That's another movie as in Smash. Ah. I, I definitely need to try that out. We made it through that one somehow, but Shinra will be back. Be sure and scout the area well. We don't know when they'll attack again. Wait. So did I fail? Did I fail? Uh, how are things going? Seems like there's no activity at Shinra. Okay. Um. Well, I didn't kill all the enemies before that one reached Cloud, but I guess we did it. To be honest, that seemed like a complete waste of time to me. I mean, if, if, there's a, if there's a good reason to actually continue doing those, then I will. But for now, I'll probably just forget about it, because that was just boring. And I wasted a lot of money trying to do that. Okay. I uh, don't know how long I've been recording for, but I'm going to keep going. Okay, so the guy said that to get to Janon, we had to follow the coast north, so we got to go up, I believe. Well, can we even go this way? No, we can't, okay. So, I'm guessing it's... hang on. Here. This is where we've got to go, if I'm not mistaken. We're heading there, but we'll find out soon. Or maybe not. Oh, what are these? I don't like what those are. They look ugly. And they're also stopping me from getting where I want to go. I'm guessing Bolt won't be very effective against them, though, judging by the fact they just used an electric attack. Hmm. We'll get Tifa to... to see if that's correct. 
any time now. Half a while. Okay, okay, well actually that did that don't Oh my god. That doesn't tell you what they resist or anything, but it seems like they don't have a particular weakness. So I am not I'm just not gonna use Bolt just to play it safe. Oh, we well can go in here. Huh, this is a forest. Interesting. I'm wondering if the terrain affects anything or not. It would be cool if it did, I suppose, but it doesn't particularly matter. I also missed the somersault on Tifa's limit break, which wasn't too good, but... We took one down, at least. This is about to be number two. And number three. Bam. There we go. I should probably heal everyone, because they're getting kind of low now. It was surprisingly quick, actually. We've only had, like, a few battles, and they're already nearly dead. Jeez. There we go. Right, we're, we're almost there. Doesn't seem to be any... Any places that we can get a chocobo around here. Not that we need one, but... Right, is this Janon? I think it's Janon. What happened to this town? It's so run down. This is under Janon. Okay. Wow, now this is rare. We almost never have anyone other than the Shinra people visit this town. Almost never. I'll bet Sephiroth came here, though. Although she doesn't seem to have any knowledge of that. No one's in that house, yet the door's unlocked. That's very clever. Is this a shop? The sign outside makes me think this is a weapon shop. If you see a weapon you want, you'd better buy it. Okay. Some weapon shot this is. There's no weapons in here. Except these grenades. I'll get, I'll get five of these. Alright, oh, I'm out. Later. Man. What a garbage shot for you. Ever since Shinra built that city up above during the war. Uh, uh. There's been no fish in the water. It got so polluted. Okay. That's a big ass fish. Hey, Mr. Dolphin! Oh, it's a dolphin. My name is... Priscilla. Now you say it. The dolphin talks. Who are you guys? Are you members of Shinra Incorporated? No, stay calm. That's how it is. I don't believe you. Get out of here. I don't want to give the dolphin a voice until I know if it's important. Great. What's that? Oh, shit. I thought she was getting angry with the dolphin, but no, there's a fucking giant thing here. Be careful, Mr. Dolphin. Oh, Pr oh the dolphin wasn't talking. Priscilla is the little girl. Wow. Okay. Hey, hold on, we're coming. Did it just eat her? No! Give her back! Actual... I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you right now. What's good against you? Bottom swell? Weak against wind. Well that's just great. When am I gonna get wind magic? For Christ's sake. Like... I haven't found any so far. At all. Ever in this game. I, I could really use it right about now. I'm finding a lot of enemies around here that could actually use the wind magic. Alright, die. I've not even been testing if the uh, physical attacks do more or not, but this thing is flying, so I'm guessing I can't even hit it with any. What's Moonstrike? Apparently, nothing but it can use it twice in a row. Wait, is he gonna do it again? Wait, you can't do that. You can't do that. That was savage. Wait, wait, now what are you doing? 
Hello? I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. What, what? Is it gonna do something? Or is that just its idle animation? Okay, yeah, I need to use magic to attack it. What are you doing? Uh, have I got to attack that? I don't think Aerith can do anything unless I attack the bomb. Okay, no, all I did was hurt Aerith, that was bad. Oh shit, that's draining her HP! Crap! I gotta be careful of that. Oh dear. Well, me attacking it did not help at all. <laughs> Oops. What are you doing? Hurry up, heal Aerith. There we go. Ugh. This thing isn't even attacking me anymore. Okay, it's gonna attack me now. Maybe. Can you hurry up? Wait, wait, no, don't, please miss. Huh? So, I've only got Cloud now. Seriously? Can I even beat this thing? Can I even beat it while it does that? Can I get them out of that? I don't think I can. What's... I don't know if I can. But I'm just gonna attack it. I don't wanna waste items on them. Okay, she's got a limit break, but she can't use it. So that's not very helpful to me right now. Cloud, can you get Blade Beam, please? Why is his limit gauge not going up? I thought the limit gauges went up over time. Do you have to be attacked to get the limits? Or is it, is it the normal melee attacks that do that? I don't know. How, come on, how much HP has this thing got left? Uh oh, I think Eris dead. Tifa might survive. But Eris gone. Oh no. Great. I wish the games that my friends are playing would stop appearing on my screen like that. Well, I'm sorry, Aerith. Hopefully you'll still get the experience. Alright, come on, please die. This is actually worrying me. I don't know if Cloud can get caught in a bubble since Teeth is still in one, but if he does, then I've got a problem. It seems like they can't break out of it. Why won't this thing die? I kind of want to just take it out. I don't even want to focus on healing Tifa anymore because I'm scared that Cloud could get put in a bubble at any moment and I don't want that. But at the same time, I don't know if she can break out of it. And if she can, I'll want to keep her alive. Is there a death now? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna heal Tifa if this thing doesn't attack. Alright. I wanna keep myself at least somewhat safe here. I, I, I seriously don't know how I'm supposed to break that bubble. I tried attacking it and it didn't work. Have I got to attack it with a magic attack to break it? It's not something I wanna risk right now, because that's the only one. That's the only one I can get to attack right now. Alright, I need to blade beam this thing right now. I feel like that's gonna be the killing blow. Oh, it's gone. What? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That sewer boss, I thought the, uh, the tsunami move thing, it had attacked him as well. So the big wave must have been hurting him. I think he just killed himself. <laughs> Alright. Aerith didn't get it. She didn't get the experience from that. And she was about to level up. Damn it. Oh well. This is bad. You don't think she's dead, do you? Priscilla.
Nope, she's not breathing. Okay, help her. Young man, do CPR. Mouth to mouth? Cloud, what are you going to do? But she's just a girl. Cloud, hurry! What, you don't know how? Come over here, I'll show you. Guess I gotta do it. Just take a deep breath, hold it in, then breathe into her. Hurry up and do it. Why has Cloud gotta do it? Push switch to start the CPR gauge, push it again to stop the gauge. Alright. Uh, the gauge isn't moving at all though. I don't know when I'm actually supposed to do it. When am I actually supposed to do it though? <laughs> I don't know the timing on this. Is there any particular moment I'm supposed to stop to breathe in? Like, it didn't guide me at all. All it said was just start and stop. When am I supposed to do it? They gave me no indication on this. I don't know how CPR works. Just help her, please. I want to stop this. I'm literally just going to try everything until this works. Okay, it finally worked. Eh, uh. Hey, hey, Priscilla, are you alright? Okay, just carry her away then. Why did I have to do that? That was just obnoxious. I mean, I'm glad she's alright, but... That was- that just... no. Sorry, Cloud. Priscilla needs to rest for a while. Well, she has an odd name. Uh, she's- she's got a sort of bubbly personality. And, uh... Well, she has a name, so <laughs> I'm guessing she's important. I'm guess she might even be a party member, but I don't know. Hey, this is Shinra Incorporated's elevator. Don't be snooping around here. Well, what am I meant to do then? There's nothing I can do here. Appa she needs to rest, so what do I do? There's nowhere else to go around here. you? Hey, come in for a while. Okay. I guess this is where I had to go. I heard what happened. You've done so much for Priscilla. You all must be tired. If you want to get some rest, stay here. I will take you up on that. Because Aerith is, uh, reanimated right now. Make yourselves at home. Get some rest? Yeah. Alright. That reminds me. You again? Who are you? You'll find out soon. But more importantly, five years ago. Five years ago. Nibelheim? When you went to Mount Nibble, Tifa was your guide, right? Yeah, surprised me. But where was Tifa other, Tifa other than that? I don't know. It was a great chance for you two to see each other again. You're right. Why couldn't you see each other alone? I don't know. I can't remember clearly. Why don't you try asking Tifa? 
Yeah. Then get up. Who is talking to me? Hey, wake up. Wake up, Cloud. That's probably Aerith. Oh, it was Tifa. Tifa. When Sephiroth and I went to Nibelheim, where were you? We saw each other, right? The other time. No, it was five years ago. I don't remember. But something seems strange outside. Cloud, come quick. Well, that was very evasive. I don't like that. What's here? Uh... Oh, there's Barrett and Red. Hey, guys. Seems like something's going on up there. Does this have something to do with the Shinra? I heard that girl regain consciousness. Doesn't seem a little strange. Everything getting so noisy all of a sudden. It does indeed. But you know what? We'll find out what the deal with Priscilla is next time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry about it being a little boring. But, you know, not not too much really happened because of that stupid mini game that sucked my money. So, uh, if you did like this episode, then please give it a like rating to show your support. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I shall see you in the next video. Until then.